Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Sun Quan Trivia Mod Let's Play. We continue for episode 20 from turn 66 in the autumn season of 220. And this is our last preparation turn before we launch our attack on the Kingdom of Wei from pretty much every single direction. Um, we are looking pretty good. Uh, we pacified most of our internal rebellions. There is still the Naman threat, which we will get to right now. If we can delegate, we will, but unfortunately, we can't, so we'll fight. We brought a lot of fire. It is a lumberyard map, which is not the easiest to fight. But um, I'm, sh I'm sure we'll be fine. We'll probably still pick this side. The weather is great. Um, yeah, I still think this side's probably best. The trees... Okay, the tree don't look so good. And maybe this? It dips down too much over here. But we might actually have a... Cleaner shot of the towers here. And that tower actually doesn't bother us. So this gate would... Yeah, that gate is actually... This is probably how we want to do it. It just, we dip down so much that we can't see what's inside and we can't actually shoot over these trees to hit people. No fire on these, which is a real shame. To be fair, this army's not that strong. Yeah, we, we lose vision pretty much immediately. We're going to take out these pair of towers. Oh, I don't even know if we can hit this one. An immediate route from the fire damage. Did we hit it? No, the tree is... The tree might block it the whole time. We'll try another shot. See if we just missed or the tree is going to block it the whole way. Uh, we might have to adjust our angle. We are hitting them, but... There we go. Alright, that's good enough. What we're going to do, see that even moved that way. We're going to go. We're going to go dueling next. Oh, come on. Cowards. All right, we'll move up a little. I can't get them to charge out. I can't kill the generals with duels. This is a problem. I probably will use this just to give everyone speed. We're now invisible. They're gonna start pulling to the center. Wait, we might actually have a really good chance of just taking this gap, which is better for us. In terms of vision and everything. We're still invisible. We, a we actually even have snipe, so we don't need to, like, turn off fire. Wu Xun being so useful. I will slow it down a little. They should get dismounted here, and then we're just going to charge in and kill them. Could we use... I don't think we need them. I think we got this. Alright, if she's routing, we'll let her route. She's gonna bounce back, though. Alright, 
Reform. All right, no need to chase that way. Oh, a flank attack. It's innovative. And when that general comes back, if she does, we'll be ready there. Right, we'll go capture this. Alright, we'll take him out. I think after he dies, I think we can we can start standing. There's still elephant inside. Ooh, invisible units. Yeah, she's returning, but I'm pretty sure army loss would get to her. There's invisible poison viper here. Give everyone another invisibility. Debuff. Reveal the invisible units. Charge at them. Or let our tribuche hit them. He's about to die. I think when he dies, we'll actually get the route, the army loss on the elephant even. We'll charge the elephant, I guess. Lots of invisible units. It's just the elephant. Two morale. I think it's over. Oh, we got a couple bounce backs. There we go. Not too bad. A couple losses here and there, but overall pretty clean. And there's still a T for us to take. Oh, we got ourselves an elephant and a burn officer as well. I, I don't want him. Oh. Would be. So he actually dodged it. Does this army not have night? It doesn't actually have night battle. I guess we do go down here for now. I'm not going to build anything here. Alright, Mulu's army. This army does have night battle. We also have juggernauts. Uh, the map, I think it's a city. Oh, it's a mine. Same thing. I don't know if we have flaming shot on these, but we definitely have fire arrows because we had night battle. He's only level one, so I don't think we have flaming shot on these. Yep. That's okay. We can still destroy towers without fire. It will take longer. I wonder if we could take this gap. Because we get like the high ground here, take out the towers. 
Shift these up slowly. Cover them. We don't have turtle formation because he's only level one. Ah, oh, rats. Then we're not going to protect them at all. They're not going to have that much range. We have fire arrows here. We'll send them up first. And yeah, this is fine. Hit that. Yeah, okay. Two, two volleys to kill it. That was pretty good. Another hit, please. Two volleys to kill that. Also pretty good. Um, now stop. Let's uh, advance these guys up first. Because there's units on the top. I'm going to duel... See if I can pull him from. There we go. Don't pull that. We have a nice little ability for him. We don't have much ammo because he do doesn't have that high of um I think one is all we need here. Kill the enemy range. We're out of ammo already. They're charging. Set up here. Get back. Cavalry erase Mulu. Not mur let's I guess we have to lead him away. We'll take some losses here. Oh, that's a lot of friendly fire. Let's not do that. Let's turn it off for now. We'll erase him with this charge pretty easily. And then we'll worry about that. We're actually losing this fight. Alright, now, fire on, fire on. Time to go! Woo! We win- Okay, we win here, but we're not in a great spot. Oh yeah, but the fires... We got this. He got a heal off of that, but we can still keep charging him. Send these guys out. You guys can sit in the back. Alright, he's down. We'll charge the units on the flank. Alright, they're out of ammo. Get them out of here. We get back on our horse. It's our charge target. Come on, erase them on this charge. The forest is ruining our charge. Let's 
Just him. Gotta be over. A bit messier. We don't have enough ammo on this guy. Level's a little bit low, so the cunning's not that high. And lack of formation in this army. Maybe I give him the Art of War book. It's not gonna help that much, but at least the formation will get some. Easy solution is just let him level up. Yeah, he should level up pretty quick though, so... Got the entire set. The firing rate is increased, which is probably another reason why we are actually running out of ammo fast. Right, we'll be taking Yunnan next. And then the rebels hold to... We're gonna kill them? A lot of work, but I think it's fine. Alrighty. Up in the water. Sell to none. Give them a break. Reach here. Yeah, our attack is next turn. Did we forget to swap these? I might have. But we're ready. Could also maybe strike Pingyuan City as well, have them strike this. We're gonna have Zhou Yu featured in the north as well. He hasn't been used all game. We never had him, so have him work with Guan Yu. <laughs> maybe. Doesn't make sense for him to work with his wife. They're both strategists. We're trying to find a suitable... I guess we don't have any more notable champions. He's like the only champion we have, as a matter of fact. Alright, we don't need Jujur to babysit our capital anymore. We will... You know what? We will bring the wife. There is a particular army structure that we could use for them. But they would just be an assisting army. Because we can actually get a lot of... Armor piercing damage bonus with this setup. Triple the amount, which makes crossbow extremely devastating. So... We would still need a set of siege weapons, just so that we can start siege battles right away. But this is going to be a complete imperial crossbow army. Should be quite devastating. Kill the towers on siege battles, have the crossbowmen walk up and just clean out the city. I 
I guess Joey's commanding for now. Yeah, this is fine. He had the administrator set. More range armor piercing damage. This, we don't have any more overseers. We actually have overseers on the right people or else we would give him the overseer. We'll give him this. He's our only dueling general, so the resolve actually would help him. And then we'll take the cunning. All right, that's a scary army. And then we'll give them one more general, all right? Because we have one more deployment. Who's going way north? Any volunteer strategists? I mean, he's probably never seen the north, so. We'll go with normal mustering with them. Alright, so that's settled. The invasion is pretty much ready to go. I will give Tao Tao a heads up, to be fair. He's probably still a bit confused over the empty lunch pail we sent him earlier. I mean, technically we can improve. I mean, he's family too. He hates us so much. He's defiant. It's not... He needs to die. As the leader, if he dies, we're all good. His son takes over. There's another high empire. They pop up every turn. There's always a high empire. Yan Yan? He looks very young, artwork-wise. He should be really old. He's like a Huang Zhong type of character. So they don't they don't have any I, I don't need to confederate every single one of them. That doesn't make any sense. Can I just vassalize them then? Not willing. They love us. I'll just It's fine. So they will constantly be a high empire. That seems to be the case. And they automatically want to confederate. They're giving us generals. That's essentially what's going on. I have actually never seen Yan Yan in the game. Oh, we got two. Yan Yan's not even on the field. We got her. So we will get Yan Yan and her. Why not? I want to see Yan Yan. He was an administrator in the Ba region. Zhang Fei pacified him when entering Shu. Only 25? <laughs> no way. He was in his 60s in like 215. No wonder why the artwork looks so young. We picked... Oh, we can give this to the Northern Invasion Army. We're going to send all the Southern people to the North. Let them see snow for the first time in their life. The dream come true scenario. Alright, I think we're good with everything except for building, spies, and diplomacy. Of diplomacy, I think we technically did just check right there. We're missing, I'm guessing, a marketplace. Our argument could be made that we're, we don't have a palace anywhere. We could build a palace here. It's a weird place. I agree. A lot of industry income. There's no reason why we need a palace. We could also build this, since it technically gives a little bit of industry. And we get family plus general, which is kind of weird. 
more seasonal deployments good, but it's kind of weird to go tall to build that. It feels kind of backwards. There's a commerce boost. I mean, this is where the industry boost is, but I don't, I don't want this building. I feel like what this means at the end of the day is we actually don't need to be this tall. <laughs> There's nothing that we really want there. Marketplace doesn't make a lot of sense. There's only there's only two sources of commerce, tax building and that, which is not a lot. So I don't think we need one. Hmm. Yeah, there's no corruption anymore. Income, here we go. Grand Tea House. I think I might have to refresh a few of the assignments or else I'm worried that we will actually not have our family support being high enough. Let's see. Yep. We're gonna need a few. Someone's actually doing it here. Can't find a happy face. There we go. One. Probably need like three. Maybe four. Lady Me can do something better. Two. Three. Four. There we go. Actually, let's do five. I think Yuan Shang, given that he is in our court, needs to level up somehow. I have no intention of sending him out to fight, so do assignments. All right, I think we are good. Just a little spy check. I doubt Cao Cao has any openings for us, so no one attractive. Let's go. It's time for war. Oh, our vassal actually took Kanxin's land. He was willing to let us confederate him, I think. We can maybe save him and just take that. That's a silk. We could own all three silk who died of old age. Oh no! Not a big deal. Any... Sentinel would do. Actually, Dianyong would be cooler here. The second we removed him from being an administrator, he dies of old age. He's like, this is too cold for me. Ah, you left unhappy. Well, you can come join me. We love characters, so we know she's fine, because she has the grudge. I don't know if we need that many sentinels, though. Okay, let's see. I 
They auto moved us. No, 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 no. We were trapped because of him. Now he auto moved us. That's lame. We'll just set the ambush then. This army actually needs help. <laughs> like, like we're actually facing a lot of enemies, but they're gonna have to wait quite a while. Alright, how are we going to do this? We're going to declare war. We're going to... That's not us. Han Empire Renegades. Alright, this is almost done. Alright. We're not going to be able to get Mulu's elephant. That's the sad part. But we do have an elephant of our own. So it's not too bad. I wonder if Mulu will join the rebels. There's a good chance, I think. So we probably do have a chance to still see him. Anyhow, now for the main course. The war declaration against... Tao uh, He wants to elevate it. He can. I don't want his land. He can take care of it for me. The Tao is 60.9. Remember that number. Time for the shock and awe campaign. We start at 4k. We've been waiting for this moment for quite a while. Okay, so he has a weird tree. I gotta I gotta actually look at this to see where we want. Barbarians, morale is higher than 50, units of rank at 10%, damage 10%, attack rate, resistance to fatigue. Okay, he doesn't need to go for reach. 10% damage for all force when attacking. Cataphract recruitment plus two. He already has the full unit, but that extends it for the whole faction. Okay, we want that actually. We can give you something more suitable. Ooh, is that a unique building for the bandits factions? Why does Toto have this? Slightly weird. I'm pretty sure I'm going to give that away as a vassal. Not immediately, but that also, I don't need to build it. We're here to attack Wohat. We're going to bring our Imperial Crossbow unit to back them up. We'll lose mustering. Oh, the items, though. We had the... We gave the garlic away to someone else. I took away your Storyteller item, but... I don't think you mind dual maces, do you? Well, let's just go with the sword. It's more elegant. Wohai we're keeping. We just have to downgrade it fast. So upgrade a few things fast. But downgrade a few things too. So I want this to hit level 5. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Start downgrading. Start downgrading. And we're good. That will be acceptable. Zhang Fei attacks Ping Yuan. 
No night battle. A little bit more casualties, no big deal. Alright, we carved out a huge piece of land in the north. Push to the other side. Masu, okay. Like I said, we've been preparing for this moment. I don't know if we should fight. Actually, it's okay. I can get the army at full health. So it's not a real concern. All right, we're worried about the front line. The front line needs to upgrade anyways. He hit level 6. This is an old army. So we just need to do a full heal swap. Uh, there's actually no Juggernaut, so this would probably be a better upgrade than even the shield. And then we'd get like two Tiger Guards for the turtle when we need to turtle formation. I need to change it to another unit before I can flip it to the same unit. It's okay. Just gotta spend a little bit more money. You know what? We can get better units. Oh, there's a hard cap for the entire faction. Okay, we don't have that because this is actually our faction unit. That makes sense. Oh well. You get to hold on to the item for... And, and instantly this army's back to full health. And that delegate was kind of meaningless. I do want this to upgrade. Upgrade instantly. Do we actually get another administrator position? Do we have 14 now? 15? Well, okay. All right. Pass, gay passes are amazing. Um, let's grab that. We'll take this, and then we'll take the north. I think we actually maxed out our authority. Um, city build. It's okay. So these two armies will go north and go push for Hunan. I think Huangai actually goes west first. I think they will shove kind of 45 degrees to the northwest, leaving these for these two armies to grab. We have a couple of tough fights here. 
Not really Talia. Fuck, we got way more units than they can handle, but relatively tough. Let's give them some respect. People who don't get along, we can switch the people out. So, continue siege. And watch the value shift. We're going to just send one over. Yeah, I prefer to not waste time sieging. We maxed our resource. We didn't capture Coral. We don't know yet. It's still. Oh, got some items. But no, we didn't capture anyone. This is not a strong army. This is a temporary army. But... It's not the end of the world. Alright, we don't know... If they have armies on this road or not, so I'm not gonna march. We'll be tracking them. We'll go with them. I can help them next turn, but actually we can help them this turn if we want. We're gonna send out just a buffer general. Recall for movement. I think we probably have to march. I'll keep them together. It doesn't matter what we bring. They just need to be healthy, so we're going to do the health swap. But we'll give them a good army. Now Liu Bei... I don't know what Liu Bei is going to be getting. Like, Chen Royal, we can't give that again. You can see the movement being changed because we have a lot of infantry. Um, that's okay. We could just use this army for this turn. Like, literally, we just borrow some Imperial Cavalry for delegate value and for the fact that they're cavalry, so the army will move farther. And we're just going to delegate Nanyang's Lumberyard away without fighting it. See, now the movement's much farther. And that should change the delegate value to a decisive victory. And then we'll get them a proper unit set up. And they also need a proper unit set up, so most of these armies need to reset. Do we capture anyone here? Oh, they're, no, they're just dropping a few more items than usual. Is that all the army placement? I mean, we had a western attack set up, but then we kind of moved with a delegate. He blocked us, and then like it got really weird. Now we're just going to be on defense because there's no help coming. Um, he's going to wait till... I think these four armies will all go west now, and they'll break through from the Wu Pass. We could even have one come down to Luoyang if we want, but that's probably too difficult. I think we just go Wu Pass into... Chang'an, because this is going to be slowed down. Once they arrive, they can bust out. He can probably go west. Uh, they can take the west. These two armies will probably go back here to go help him with uh, Huang Gai. So this will be four armies sweeping this area, probably crossing the river, taking the rest over here as well before that little impassable area. So we take the Qi path here and then work our way up the Bin province. Um, this line pushing that way. These two moving north. I don't think there's any strangling army behind. We can probably start moving to join the rest of the folks. 
No one has reach. Oh, I lied. Sun Tian, take care of us. And we'll land and go this way. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff. Alright, we cannot summon anyone anymore. We used up our four summon this turn, so let's take a look at the abdication values. Tell us how do you feel about us. Six points. We erase 54 points in one turn. Shock and awe. So next turn, if we smash him around a bit more, which I think we can, I think we gotta surrender. He's done. There's no more fight left in him. Um... No, we, we wipe him out here. There's no reason to keep him alive. So yeah, I don't even know if we need to send an army north, because they're probably going to surrender. And then every army is going to... I mean, there's still the fight with Machuan and them. That needs to continue, but a lot of armies will shift west down to this position. We have two army here, so maybe we don't do deal with the rebel. He just turn north and take care of them, because they're not bothering us. And we can have an army set up here, have them go that way. Um, I guess we do have time, we'll do this. Essentially, these boys, I guess we can just do the replace. We're giving them this. He doesn't have fire arrows yet. But he's probably close to the next level. Uh, not really. In that case, crossbow it is. Click back. We could have just swapped to this directly, in hindsight. Well, I guess if we want some handmade guard, just to spice things up a little. I mean, Winter of 220, historically, the last season before Cao Cao dies of, I guess, tumor. Um, this is, they actually didn't take damage, this army, <laughs> do we just keep this army around? They're fast, they hit hard. Yeah, I guess we'll just keep this around, it's, it's, it's a pretty fun army to use. I think that's it, we end turn and, um, see how Cao Cao respond, we gotta do buildings and stuff, but still. Army wise, I think we're content. Just come of age. He's administrator. Doesn't really matter at this point. We're just we just like him for the pacifist trait, essentially. Um, I guess we can get some public order. It's, it's not necessary either. Also administrator, get more um, resolve for population growth. We actually have one army who just didn't move. Is it Guanping's army? Yep. Everyone else have been just waiting, waiting for this moment. And we just unleashed. I 
Yeah, I'll just get rid of it. We don't need anything there. Like, if anything, the, the, the trading den's actually pos like net positive, so I guess we'll build it. Nanya. Huh. That's Liu Bei's unique building, isn't it? I like ours better. And that says something. I think we can get that down, rush this all the way to tier 5, and then we can start downgrading. Yo, baby, I'm pretty sure we're giving away after next turn. Um, I actually think Hene. It's gonna be some commerce from the port. We'll do a trading den. Any spying scenarios here? Like any generals? Very sad. That's also lost really hard. Nope, not at all. I think that's. That's it. We can't force anything. Five point seven now. Okay, it's got worse. I think because some of our armies improved slightly. Small changes. Um, oh, he's actually not healing, but he doesn't need to heal. They can heal here. Uh, it's not just the initial wave attack. We actually have like a second wave and like a third wave still moving to position. There's like backup armies here who finished and can move. We have naval invasions prepared. It's very grim for Sal Hall. But anyway, let's continue. I think we take their capital. No, we don't want to take their capital. If we want an abdication, we don't actually we want their cap. Oh, we knew he was going to rebel. That's why we kept the army in Tangwu. Uh, just stay out of it. To be fair, for Sun Huan, as a family member, we could be showering him with gifts, but he was defiant, so I figured he was just going to rebel anyways. We take it back and give it to someone else. He doesn't want to be a good vassal then someone wants to be a good vassal yeah he, he think he has armies you know he's like I can rebel he's like oh, what <laughs> where did he come from uh Mulu resummon himself giving us one more chance at the elephant it's still a very low chance. Now, it will probably be Lu Xun leading this for this fight. I want night battle. I want fire arrows. We're probably not actually fighting, given that they are not fully mustered. So it's going to be shift, swap, shackle. If we only had the other capture items, we could... Like a horse. There's there's Tulsa's Hall's Thunder Hoof, whatever. 60% decisive, so that's gonna just determine it right here. We want to capture and execute actually to take the gold elephant from him. Oh uh not dropping the elephant. It's a shame.
Uh, that's a hard call. Because, so essentially what happened is, the items will go into his inventory if I execute him, and then his faction is going to be deleted. If his faction gets revived, which is impossible, then the item will be sitting in the, you know, his inventory. If I don't kill him, the items stay on him, he can potentially join the rebels, I can see him again. Yeah, you know the story. Oh, we can do the Naman thing. Can I annex Naman factions? I can't. Uh, I don't know. He's defiant. We're asking for. We basically get a chance to fight him again. Sure. I mean, we, we'll have to put an army down south anyways, so it's fine. All right, they have a very different story. We're gonna have to get ready to fight the kingdom of Sun. So they're gonna slowly move into position. What is Tozol's value with us at the start of turn for the? It's gonna recover. Oh, they didn't recover. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> I thought it was gonna recover. Let's do this afterwards. I can take his air. Maybe some items. That's a good thing. If he has bad trait, I, I don't care about decimating people's food. I can do this myself, so I don't care about that. No, see, if she has army on the field, if I get the abdication, then I can pick that army up, assuming I have enough army limit, which is questionable. We'll mess with them, they'll start depleting. Skill to reset, sure, since I didn't pick your skills. Who do we get from Mulu? His wife? Ah, see, we got some good items. Are you his wife, though? Yes. Okay. Nice. Does she have retinues? No elephants? Boohoo. All right, let's get Taltal to bow down to us first. I'm going to have to keep that army this turn there because this next summer is the turn where we will see potential rebel form. I don't want to throw too many units that way if we don't have to, so... We'll take the northern route. I don't want to kill any armies that we could potentially absorb. We have five open army slots. I'm sure it also has more than five armies, though. That is... Uh, so basically, we're only going to get five armies. Let's just... Let's just... Accept that. Because if I start recalling armies, what will happen is that our balance of war would change and I wouldn't be able to force the application. So we're not going to be able to pick up all his armies and we're just going to have to accept that. Which means smashing an army like this with just Ma Xiu and Zhong Yao, not the worst thing in the world. Because we can take a pretty high level city, level 9, and a full army off the map, which will definitely sh shift like the balance of power. I mean, Zhang Fei has nowhere to go. This is the only place he can go. The movement is insane on that army. Okay, so I'm gonna siege this. I don't know if I need to take it. Let's see what happens when I take this. In terms of the shift. Maybe we get some fondness. Maybe you come back to us. Let's see. Let's see if that's a four point, seven point shift. Yeah, le level 9 city plus... Why is the map flipped? Yeah, the thing is... Uh, I could call back some army, I guess, with 3.3 .3 as a buffer. We probably could end up with more armies if we just call back some... Like this... Because of where they are, after we take Taltal, we don't need them here, right? We need to shift them south, so... We could potentially just recall a few armies here. 
Let's see how much this shifts. We could only 0.5. Okay, let's get another one off the field. I'm not killing the units because I'm going to actually spend the time mustering them back up. Same thing here. Opened up eight slots. Does this also have eight armies? Oh, it's not even shifting that much. I can shift more. So, like, yeah, these two armies also kind of poorly positioned for our next campaign. We're going to vacate ten armies. That should be good enough. It could be safer, I guess. Who else is kind of badly positioned? These are actually not poorly positioned because they're so close. It's actually these armies in the north that are really poorly positioned. I'll get to the level up first. Oh, no, no, no. I want this. Alright, 11 army openings. We, we could do one more thing. I could get anything right now. Probably should get this. I can also pick up another army slot and two seasonal deployment, which is actually super useful for us. For both reasons, right? We can now pick up 12 total armies and we can deploy two full armies at a time per turn. Here we go. Boom. The North is one through a one point. You know, it's basically a one turn Blitzkrieg. We had to fight one extra city afterwards. Let's also saw the light. It's going to take a while to transfer everything to us. Don't freeze and crash. You're going to have to pull that siege off as well. Okay. This might take like five minutes. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure the game's not frozen. It's actually just calculating. Yep. Let's see if we hit the army limit. That's going to tell us if we got everyone. We didn't hit the army limit. Wow, clutch. Clutch. Means we got pretty much everyone that we could have gotten. Not that they contain any great generals, but potentially good items. I mean, there's Zhang Ji, Ma Dai. Now, this Zhang Ji is... Open eared official. I'm trying to figure out which Zhang Zi this is. Is it the, the famous doctor? Is it the one that should be dead already but still in the game somehow? Mao Zi is cool. Jia Kui. Deng Ai! I've never seen Deng Ai in the game. The age is right. He's a youngster. He will be the one historically take Shu. We're gonna make that happen again. All right, Cao 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 Pi. Zan Ba. Okay, cool. Zhen Ji. Ma Tie. Sima Long. Oh. Zuo Yuan, who's 60 now. Still looks great. Liu Shao, who left us early. He's one of the few we fired. And he's back. He's all the way back. I mean, we fired him back then for like family issues. Now we don't really have that issue. They gave us the High Empire General as well? Wait, she counts as one of ours? We come. Oh, I guess we confederated we never cleaned up. Oh, we could have got rid of her pretty easily. At least we didn't mess it up, because we know there's that one gap, which means we were fine. Now, the only thing is, I want to find a save point. So, we're going to artificially create a save point by setting up a siege here. I'm going to do... Doesn't matter who. Let's 
Yeah, it gets gets to show up for one turn. I want level five general so I can get the cavalry. And then give them one more. Doesn't matter if they don't like each other. We're gonna remove them next turn. Next episode. I just want to find a save point so I don't have to spend the rest of the episode cleaning up Tal Tal's armies and then like go to next turn for a save. We're just gonna generate a fight here. Get ourselves a save. Oh no, we can't reach. Okay, it's fine. Don't freak out. We still got this. Because we can move to here. Recall him. Oh, does it not refresh the movement because we already recruited units? I don't think that actually affects us. I think I messed that up, but um, salvageable. Basically, we have to recall both of them. He has the movement, right? From here, it's okay. He doesn't have the level, so I have to find him two people with the level. Level five. That doesn't matter who. And... The goal is not to win, it's just to get the save. Alrighty, so, Tal Tal is down. We got the Kingdom of Suin left. A lot of the work will be relocating armies, finding some interesting targets to put them on. Now the war with Ma Chao will continue. That is something we can't really do much about. Or... Wait, because he was the vassal, right. The vassals all peace out automatically after the abdicate. So they declare war on us. When? Wen Ping will be busy. We'll summon some army to crush them and then surround them and do something very similar and win this game. So it's been nice. Uh, we'll come back next time and continue to wrap this up. Until then, bye.